Hello, and welcome to the Reuters Institute for the Study of Journalism Global Journalism Seminar Series. This is the last seminar of the academic year of Trinity term, and also my last seminar. I, after five years at the Reuters Institute, I'm moving on to be CEO of Internews Europe. Um, and this is a very poignant day for me. It's also my last day at the Institute. And it feels very important that we talk about the issues that really matter. In London, in London, our colleagues are launching the digital news report that looks at the future of journalism worldwide. And here we have Ronson Chan, the outgoing chairman of the Hong Kong Journalists Association and also deputy assignment editor at Channel C. Until this February, he was also former deputy assignment editor at Stan News, an independent pro-democracy outlet that was shuttered last year after a raid on its offices and on Ronson's home under Hong Kong's national security law. Most of you may well recognize him. Ronson was live streaming um, anti-government protests that took place in the summer in 2019. And there is a famous image of him being overwhelmed by tear gas canister that had been lobbed by riot police at journalists and civilians. This is a moment in time when Hong Kong's journalism and media outlets are under incredible pressure. And in many ways, it reflects the pressure that's felt by journalists all around the world. It's a really crucial moment to talk about journalism. And it's really important that these voices of the journalists on the front line are heard. So I'm very, very pleased to be having this conversation today. I mean, just to give some context, the national security law was enacted in June 2020. And um, we've also seen in Hong Kong a renewed use of sedition law that was passed in the 1970s. And both these laws in tandem have been used to really put pressure on civil society groups as well as, um, as, well as journalists. The number of imprisoned journalists worldwide hit a record high of 293 last year, and more than a quarter of them are in China alone. Among the 50 journalists in prison in China are Alan Ao, Ronson's former colleague, and Jimmy Lai, the founder of the now shattered newspaper Apple Daily. Like I said, press freedom is a perfect topic for my final global journalism seminar, because I can't tell you how hard it is to build a functioning media ecosystem and what an incalculable asset it is once you have one. It's the foundation on which everything grows, a sense of community, democracy, economic security, human rights, culture, identity. Once you have it, dismantling it is an act of utter folly. And I really want to kind of highlight that because it's so vital that we kind of make this message known. But in the meantime, Ronson, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Mira. Thank you for your invitation. Thank you. Please tell me where you are. There's a lot of activity all around you. Yes, I'm in the office of my working place, Channel C. Okay. It is a, um, a online news website. Um, we have um, a Facebook page, we have a YouTube channel, and we have um, uh, around 20,000 uh, subscribers in, in YouTube, for example, saying that. But we have just have only uh, less than 20 staff. So you can, I can show you look around. This is the old uh, office, okay? Um, a, a, a little room with, with several, a little, little, little apartment uh, a flat with several uh, glass wall rooms, okay? And in, in, that, in that moment that we have around 10 more staff working. But you know, we are, Hong Kong journalists are always working the night shift. So we are still, hard, my colleagues are, are, are hardly working, work, working now. Uh, and, 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 this, uh, and for me, I'm just doing my own, own, own road as a, as a guest in this uh, seminar. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for staying so late because um, it is about eight o'clock there. I, yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you these questions. I want to ask you about Channel C and how you find doing journalism because I want to kind of give a sense of what is happening to journalists out there because there is still a lot of journalism that is being created, a lot of content that is being created and a lot of yes. interest in it. Um, well, um, in, 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 uh, in and, uh, and now we, we work... I work in Channel C. Uh, most of them are coming from the closed uh, media, Apple Daily. Um, but they are just uh, now we are subsidized from the public and and some uh, uh, boss, but they have less uh, political background, just a common merchants on 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 in Hong Kong. 
Um, we are just uh, focus on some city news, for example, crime news, uh, entertainment, sports, um, and honestly, um, we do we are we are doing less uh, sensitive news, for example, political and uh, 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 um, some news about uh, the court case or the national security law. Um, uh, but I, I I think that it is not. We, we cannot uh, easily conclude this is a self censorship because the the, 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 the staff in here the, and the management here think that um, uh, political news have less interest to the public yeah. that, that that because you know the, the, the political system has been changed and political news have less uh, uh, interest um, and they uh, people are not 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 really want to to read more more news on political issue, so we are trying to focus on other topics. Um, but uh, we we have a quite quite good growth on our readers, both in uh, uh, Facebook or and and and, and YouTube. Um, for me, um, um, you know, you have for your introduction that I'm good at um, doing news live stream. Okay. And before I joined in here, and when, and when, all, and when I work in Stan News, that I always cover the news and uh, uh, and uh, and what had happened on the street, for example, the demonstration, the rally, or the uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the 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 uh, kiosks or on the street. I don't know. Of course, I, I mean the right maybe the, the riots on the street. So, but today, um, for example, I make a live, news live stream yesterday covering a new, a new night show launching, not launch, not launch, launched in a Disney, Disney, Disney World, Disneyland World, <laughs> and and for example, uh, in the in the morning yesterday morning, I cover news about um, uh, uh, a, a a sea restaurant jumbo have to leave to Hong Kong. After Jumbo seafood. Have, I knew that from Singapore. Yeah, yeah. You, you know it. You know. I know it, it yeah, from Singapore Jumbo. as well. Yeah. Okay, Singapore. Yes, it's a Cantonese, uh, 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 Cantonese popular uh, uh, food, seafood way that mm. making a ship on the sea and have a seafood. But um, after the pandemic and 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 the crackdown of the economy, that that, that this uh, restaurant have to be closed. Uh, for around two years and until yesterday that they 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 plan to leave Hong Kong and I make a new, new life about it. So you you, you um it's a quite a big difference between my work from from the past days yeah the past period and, and today. Um, but fortunately I'm still doing something that uh, Hong Kong people are interested um, they are keen to to concern. Um, uh, uh, I, I, I I can just say that uh, it is not uh, easy for uh, for me to to uh, um, to uh, uh, um, I mean that it's not easy for me to 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 uh, um, take a take a take a, a good. Um, good way to work, but I, I, I just, just uh, I think it is the most uh, comfortable, most safety way for me to continue my life as a journalist. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Mm. I completely understand that. Um, so tell me a little bit about, I'm interested about this idea of the relationship you have with your audiences, because as you said, this is what you, your editors and management have felt that um, audiences mm. that are interested mm. in kind of practical issues of city life. Mm. Who are your mm. subscribers, and do you get kind of a feedback from them over what kind of mm. things they they like they want from you? Well, honestly, the subscribers are mainly um, the readers from the the late Apple Daily, Star yeah. News. Um, they 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 hope to to. You, you know, Apple Daily and Stan News and Citizen News have been closed, but they 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 hope to get the information or hope to they love the style of our news reporting way. So they um, they are, are waiting for this kind of uh, the media to coming back and and today that 
some, of course, um, you know, Apple Daily is a big, um, um, uh, uh, merch, is a big company that they have many, many staff around thousand. So many of, some of them have formed or established different kind of uh, small news web page or a small mm -hmm. news agency to cover different kinds of uh, news. Some of them uh, are covering the entertainment news. Some of them are making a new website covering uh, economy news. Some of them uh, uh, make a new page to cover uh, uh, feature news. Okay, so um, for 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 me, I, I think that. Um, uh, 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 they they have stuff, they they have they still have some choices to get back the the, the Apple Daily style in in in, in today's uh, 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 Facebook page or news website, but of course that the core um, part of Apple Daily means the local news, particular news, court news that there's no more uh, coverage on 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 that in in in, in this moment. So um, and and the feedback, yes, uh, in in the in the news live, we are mostly uh, using YouTube, and you can easily to get the comment from the from the uh, YouTube. Um, I, I still seeing that the support from uh, to me and Channel C. Okay, thank you. I mean, you 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 mentioned Apple Daily Style a few times now, and I think it's worth. <laughs> Um, talking a bit about this. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you mean by Apple Daily Style? Because, again, we talk oh. about getting young people interested in the news the world over, and Apple Daily absolutely nailed it, not just with the content, but with its presentation. Yes, um, I, I don't know how to translate it, but maybe you can understood, understand it as a movement news, okay? They say it's move news, okay? Apple move news, okay? So um, it, it easily say that we use video clips and a very relaxing style and sometimes like making jokes or sometimes singing the content to 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 present the news content mm. okay for example uh, today that some news saying that uh, a report i will uh, run the next term uh, 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 presidency of the hkja and they, they make a news saying that, oh, we are in Channel C and Russell is our, our colleagues, but we never know it about, about his, his decision to, to, go, to, 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 to go on the next term uh, election. So we have to uh, think about it, what is our relations between us and, 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 and Ronson. Okay, this is the style. They're making it very uh, relaxing and simple mm -hmm. and, and funny, okay. So it, it, it may attract some, some, some attention. So in a way, what's really noticeable here is the, this kind of a section of Hong Kong media that has created a relationship with its audience that's related to tone and style as much as to content. And they're taking the tone and style and applying it to other content and hope and tr trying to keep the relationship going in the hope that eventually the content can expand that's as that. well. Yes, that's good. That's good. That, 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 that's, that's really what, what, what had really happened. That they we honestly the way for reporting is more important than the content for the reporting. But the, you know, it, 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 it have some balance, okay? That of course the tone may be in a relaxing mode, but we are still we're still uh, holding a very high standard of making news for example we have we still have to have a balance mm -hmm. reporting we still have needed to get the uh, a reply from the from the from the uh, 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 people and and we are, are seeking a very high accuracy of the report so so i think this is a good balance until now okay thank you um i have a mm -hmm. i have a Question from the audience, actually, that's related to this, and I'm going to put it to you. If this guy, I don't know who it's someone who's anonymous, but saying, can you elaborate why you think there's less demand for political news in in Hong Kong? Is it less demand for local sources? With Hong Kong as consuming political news from foreign media, or is there no interest at all? And how much do you think Hong Kong has now trust local news coverage of political matters? Honestly, the political news in Hong Kong um, uh, were mainly 
um, come from two sources. First is the first. The first one is the first one was the um, legislative council. Uh, 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 legis legislative council and the legislative legislators from the democratic can when they have a um, uh, uh, a several numbers people in in the in in the in the le legislative council, and when they have criticized and make some uh, uh, make some critics critic criticism against the government or make some movement, for example, the uh, uh, occupation movement or or the uh, anti extradition movement. So this is one of the source of what had happened. To the to for local society community and the other one is the uh, local um, community com, com, local community organization for example the teacher union the labor union from the democratic camps so but um, these two kind of the of the source the people has been almost disappeared within this year okay most of the you know that the, the legislative council have a, a, a new election and the method for electing them have been changed. Most of them, uh, I, I can say 99% of the legislative council members are come from the Beijing, Pan Po Beijing camps. And the community, the local civic community, the uh, labor union, the neighbor union, teacher unions from the democratic camps have been uh, disbanded and they, um, some of them, the, 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 uh, the leaders have been uh, uh, charged it and, and still remain. So, um, you, you know, if we're talking about, um, if, if we're saying that there, there are around half of the Hong Kong people are interested in the pan Democrat uh, ideas and the pan Democrats, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, standings. Then today they will lost all their, they lost all their their, their supporting uh, 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 power. They lost their supporting power from them. So they it it it, it, it makes them and 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 the main main um, stream of this of this of of, of the of this camp's readers. They, they were our lead readers. Just say that they 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 were interested in the Apple Daily or Stand New Style, so they have less interest on today's uh, political situation. I mean, how has the government? How how have the local media covered the chief executive's election, for example? Like how has it just been kind of very straight reporting or ignoring it? No, uh, you know. Um, I would say I, I I always said that Hong Kong has two start two two main uh, types of media. Yeah. First type is that they are easily they 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 are still professional, but they they will listen orders. Okay, they will accept that the all they they will they will try to um they they were they were they were they they will support the government in Beijing. They were per, per, uh, probation camps, and and they are easily to to listen the instructions, okay, from the liaison office, okay, and these most of these media were the mainstream media, okay. For this kind of media, they will cover the the stock, the 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 CD election, and um, we can see the changes. For example, they when they write the articles or the reports. They were in a more a sensational mood for to, to, to report the, the, the news. For example, saying that Johnny are very hard to work for the for for, for seeking support from the from the uh, uh, election, ele election election committee members, and saying that uh, he he is uh, well uh, accepted by the by the election uh, 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 committee members. Okay, and the others media they were not easy to listen the instructions from the ASON office. They were not uh, easily to. They were relatively independent. Mm -hmm. Okay, they still have some cover about the CE election, but not many, because most of the 
um, uh, 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 news uh, scenes of this uh, simulation, they they own the the the. For, how can I explain? They were organized by the election uh, uh, office from from Johnny, yeah. and most of the relatively independent media were not uh, uh, welcome to go to go to such the event. Okay. So and they and some they were excluded they, some, from the press conferences. Yes, they're excluded from the from the mainstream media. Mm. So um, the situation is like that. Thank you. Can I talk a little bit about the Hong Kong Journalists Association, um, which has played okay. a significant role in the last few years, both as a source of support and contention in this space? And um, mm. how useful and important has it been for journalists um, to kind of have this community as 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 the media houses themselves are fracturing? Well, um, the Journalists Association have a long history, and um, we established in 1968 and honestly um, before before this half and years is still a most uh, the uh, most uh, a powerful a uh, journalist uh, labor union in Hong Kong yeah. um, before this half and years we I, I would say we have a good talk and communication with government and police so, so you, you can imagine in the in in the uh, 2019 and 2020 and 2021 when there are many many things happen on the street so we have to uh, uh, we have to um, have, have to conduct a good communication with the authority and the police uh, um, to to seeking the uh, uh, report reporting rights on the street of course, in some or in many scenarios, that the police have a uh, uh, many uh, quarrels with the journalists, and um, even we have been treated unfairly or uh, being treated uh, brutally by the police. Um, but we, we we still have some. Uh, um, I would say we are still have some uh, have a good position to negotiate with with police and authority. Um, How have you maintained uh, that? How have you maintained that position? Um, pardon? How, how come you still have a good position to negotiate given everything yes, else that's no, happened? Honestly, some, some, because we have, we have, the, the, we have the, 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 the largest number so of, mm-hmm. of the members in, in, of the journalists in Hong Kong, we have in in, 19, in in 2019, we have uh, more than 800 members, but today we have only four, 400 more. And um, this is the first one. The second one is because we we we, we have a communication. Um, I, I may not say system, but that a communication channel mm-hmm. in the past years, in the past many in in the past years. So uh, these channels still work, okay. For example, in nineteen, in two thousand nineteen, at least we 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 can get the details from the journalists that may be arrested or detained by police on in the street. We can get the details from it, okay. We can know that where they they were detained. We can know uh, um, uh, uh, we we can say that we are we are trying to uh, find a lawyer. To assist the the, the, the the arrested journalists, etc. Um, but um, after this, but, but uh, in, in this um, the past six months, that we we, we feel that um, the authority, including the police, have lesser and lesser um, uh, 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 motivation to communicate with us, okay. and and we we understood it is it it, it 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 related to the uh, probation camps attack on JA. It related to the uh, 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 probation camps criticized uh, uh, against JA, um, and and we are um, I would say investigated yes by the RTU that it is the. Uh, registry of the labor union. Uh, we can, we have some uh, inquiries from them and saying that they are investigating a, a case 
uh, for for us and saying that um, if we are uh, to, to to try to ask us some questions, otherwise um, uh, they would find uh, we are we we have uh, commit any uh, irregular irregularity of the uh, labor union law. So um, I, I think that the relationship between us and the government departments and the police have been changed within this half a year. Okay. And but you're still standing for election for the next term. Yes, because um, honestly, I don't. I, I think that um, the the risk for me is still still uh, uh, consistent. Okay, <laughs> the, the the risk for the next for the for the for the last years is, is same for the risk in the forthcoming year one year, and honestly, the the second reason is. There is no person, no, no, no people trying to, to, to take up this, this position. So, and honestly, and uh, this is my view, okay, uh, as I have promised um, the public, okay, that uh, we are trying to, to, to stand until the last moment. And until now, this is not the last moment. So I, I think that I, I still have a responsibility to, to stand in here. That's um, okay. That's I'm going to pause on that. This is not the last moment. Tell me more. Mm. What's 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 ahead? Where's the fight? Uh -huh. good questions. Um, I I still think that we 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 we, we the Hong Kong is Hong Kong did the journalists. Okay, although the political environment is not ideal, but there uh, although the, the the the, the 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 political situation is not ideal. We still have have many city news have to cover. Um, maybe I'm too naive or too uh, childish that I still think that kicking that if okay today we, we are not easy to talking about the system. We're not easy to talking about politic, uh, the democracy. Um, but the purpose for for promoting democracy is is to uh, um, improve the life of the citizen. So, okay, we don't talking about system, we don't talking about democracy, we start directly talking about how to improve our city. Uh, for example, that I, when I work in the Channel C, that I've experienced the most popular life that we are, co we are trying to, to cover the news about a red house, red house, that saying that an apartment have many, many rats and the hygiene department is trying to uh, remove it all, but um, and and are going and, and we're going to the to, 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 to the to the door of this of this apartment and and cover the news about how the hygiene depart department trying to uh, remove the rats. Okay, we've got around ten thousand people to to watch the live about this news. So. Um, this is the, 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 the reason that I, I still think we, we still have some room to, 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 to do to, to, make, to make news or to cover the news that we can have uh, uh, um, we, that we, we, we are trying to, to cover the, the city news and trying to promote that how to improve Hong Kong becoming better. Thank you. I'm going to go back to the question. This is a related question from Alexei Bikov in the audience, which okay. is the, does the I'll, I'll read it to you. Does the development of new technologies lead to the strengthening of media freedom, or does it cre create conditions for control and regulation of the media? Um, let me see. Uh, oh, can QA panel? I, I can't. I can't see yeah. the, the, the. So, so please, Mira, sorry. Would you mind, please? I'll uh, read it again uh, to you. Again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does the development of new technologies lead to the strengthening of media freedom, or does it create conditions for the control and regulation of the media? From my own personal experience, I think that the technology improves and helps us most. For example, if there is no Facebook Live or live stream techniques that we we, we are not easy to making news live in in 2019 and and let the world see what had happened in Hong Kong. Um, for the in 2019, I'm working in Star News. It's it's all it's also a 
relatively in small size news web news online news agency. We have around 12 or 13 people to work. We only have four to five people to to walk on the street and to cover the news on the on on the protest. Um, we only have the, the, the iPhones or mobile phone to cover the news. Instead of we have we don't have any camera. We don't have any uh, uh, high tech uh, live stream uh, 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 apparatus. But we can still make the live news live stream by by only using a, a, a small mobile phone to send the image out to the world to see what to let the, Hong, the, the world people to see what happened in Hong Kong. So I, I think it's, it's, it, it, it helped us very much. But of course, the, the new technology that makes you leave many footprints on the, on, on, on the uh, 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 virtual world, so it's, it's easy for you for for the law enforcement agency to um, uh, 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 search or follow what you had have you had done. Um, so, but I, I I don't think that we have to put this these two uh, uh, thing these two aspects in a in in in, in a contradiction. Um, you know. Um, Yes, it's easy. For example, in the Stan News case, we are easily to be. Uh, uh, we, we have closed on the day that, that 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 the police go into search, and actually we are not we we are not we cannot work because the all the, all our computers, including the monitors, have been collected by the police. Yeah. It is meaningless that we we we, we cannot work at, at at that night actually because. If we, we have 16 staff, that 60 staff, we cannot get the, all the computers and the monitors in a very short period, actually. So that, that is why that, for my personal analysis, I think, I think that the police action was aimed to, 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 to make us closed because if they just want to collect the information, they don't need it to collect all the monitors. <laughs> they collect about 30, 40 monitors. Yeah. Okay, but but they have not did it in Apple Daily, so um, yes, the discretion is yes and no. It's kind of getting, it seems to be getting blunter and blunter the attempt the <laughs> closing of the media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, it, it just seems to be getting more and more blunt the way you close yeah. down media. So it started by using laws to kind of pursue journalists, yes, yes. and then it started with literally taking their equipment get, out of the office. A, yes, they get a warrant. They get a warrant, but they're not collecting very important documents or yeah. any other other thing. They just collect all your keyboard or collect all yeah. your monitors. Your chair. That, yes, that, oh my, your chairs. Okay, that that's enough. So. Um, so simply say, say, simply say, say that it, it, the, 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 the question is good. It, it, had, it had both sides. Thank you very much. I'm going to go to the Reuters mm. Institute fellows in the seminar room now. Um, sorry to keep okay. going. And I'll start with Robin. Did you ask your question? And I'll read it out if you don't hear it correctly, Ronson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi, hi Ronson. Thanks for joining us. Um, and I hope you Thank you. Um, I wondered, I think a lot of people will be watching uh, or have been watching Hong Kong very closely um, because uh, they're, they're seeing uh, kind of similar versions, you know, of, of democratic backsliding happening in their own countries. Um, and I know the situation escalated incredibly quickly. Um, I wondered if you have any advice to journalists who are covering or, or you know, approaching potentially the same kind of situation and are covering the same kind of things as, as you were in, in Hong Kong. Any, anything you might have learned that you can share? So the question is, um, given your experience in the last two, three years in Hong Kong, what advice would you give to journalists in other countries facing similar circumstances? Um... Or what message, maybe, if not advice? Mm, you, you mean that that the it it is it focus on what had happened for the national security law or 
at, or at the I think a combination of what happens when the state comes after journalists, both through very repressive laws and through literally taking equipment out oh, of the building. Okay, okay, and okay. how do you cope with how do you cope mentally as well? Okay, I understand. Uh, I, um, I, I would say that um, for me, my personal uh, experience, I spend most, more, the, 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 I spend many time, ma- ma- many, ma- many, pe- many uh, 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 time, I, 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 let me, sorry. I spend most of the time on the street to, to making a uh, news live. Um, I, I I would I do the life of very very long, the most longest time I, I make it I I made it around eight hours. Um, until now I I still I, I still see less situation like that. For example, in Ukraine or in in Myanmar or in other 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 country that is is not we cannot see a so long long coverage on long, long period of live streaming. Um, so this is what I'm, I, I'm curious is, in other country, there is not um, advanced as Hong Kong. We have a very good network. And until within this, three, this past three years that um, the, the internet, internet band is still not happen in Hong Kong, that's good. So we can use such method to cover the news and let the, the, the rest of the world to understand what had happened from our home. Um, I'm still uh, thinking, is it possible for, 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 the, other, for the other countries, people to, to repeat such a way to, for example, making a, a so long period of of a uh, 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 long time of live streaming, and honestly, I I honestly think it is not it it it, it is not be copied in, in other country because if you are working in in the con- in the con- in the countries that they have enjoyed the freedom of press, that your your media the, the 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 traditional or mainstream media can cover the. The news that they don't need such like uh, the, the, uh, the the reporters or journalists working in a small news agency trying to just using a mobile phone to cover what had happened because you have mainstream media for example if you're saying that you are in USA that you have CNN you have CNBC they will cover the, the news stories but if you are work in a in a in the countries that they have, don't have to meet the uh, 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 freedom of press, then if you just walk on the street, that the police will, will arrest you. It, it is not easy for you to, to holding a, a mobile phone to go around on the street and you still could be do, do, do it, do it, do it uh, uh, for, for, for more than 30 minutes or something. Okay, it's, it's impossible. Just saying that you are in Myanmar, in Thailand, yeah. it is not easy for you to make such a uh, 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 making uh, to cover the news in such ways, so uh, it, it's a good question for me also. Is it the Hong Kong experience in these three years, especially that the news live live streaming? Is it possible to repeat in other countries? Um, I, I'm still still thinking of this. So um, it, it may be a good time for me when I spend half a year in, 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 in Oxford to, 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 to think this question more carefully and, 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 and more precisely. Thank you very much. That's a really good point. Um, I should say you'll be joining at the Reuters Institute <laughs> yes. in, in the autumn. We're pleased with. Paula, over to you. Hi, from thanks, Chile. Thanks, Ronson. Um, Thank you. From the Oxford Institute. I'd like to ask you, uh, it's a sort of similar question, but it's more related to history and to our past. Like, are you looking at the experiences, or maybe you have already looked into the experiences of other media or other journalists who are, have worked in the past in similar conditions, um, whether to address issues related to security, to censorship, or how to keep hope in, in, in these circumstances, or around ways of connecting with your own? 
Thanks, Paula. So the question mm. is, have you, are you looking at other journalists and other media outlets for lessons in how to keep it, how to keep going in your situation? So it's the other other way around. We, the first question was, was, what advice would you give to other people? And this question mm. is really, what have you learned from other organizations or other journalists, especially on the issues of how do you deal with um, censorship and how do you keep your sense of hope alive? And how do you continue to connect to audiences? Um, honestly, um, we 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 heard many stories in 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 China um, uh, when we heard many stories about how the Hong Kong children is working in China, and we are, from from my own opinion, I think that. It, it, it may be a good good uh, uh, good way for us to to learn about it because we can imagine that Hong Kong's situation will will just go like China more and more likely like in, in China. For example, we have to wait timing, okay? Um, I, I give you an example after the close of the stand news, I, I don't think the Hong Kong media, I, I, for my personal, just my personal th- uh, feeling, I, I think when, when, when Stan News closed, that means in the last, this, the, 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 December, the late December of last year, there is less and less criticism against the government, no matter the government policy, no matter the COVID policy or something. But um, after two months later, saying that uh, Carrie Lam, our chief executive today, that uh, she was not ready to um, uh, uh, seeking the next term uh, uh, election, and we have and and there are many many criticism from the uh, poll Beijing camp media criticize Carrie Lam. And the criticism go more hardly than the Democrats before, or even. So we, we, we can see that oh, the media is tr- was trying to make more and more reports about the criticism against uh, the, 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 the pandemic or the COVID policy or other uh, policy of the government of the government uh, 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 issue. So I think. Um, we have to watch an analysis or even feel what you should say or what you should not say. Okay, this is not easy, but um, this is one of the way that we can keep our life still safety to, 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 for, for government media. But of course, um, I, I've said before that we have some mainstream media and some relatively independent media. For this, the later one, they, um, some of them will, will think that it is not easy to compromise all the time and trying to uh, self-censor themselves in, 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 all, all, in, in all the ways or something. So um, you can still, can still watch, you can still read some report from the relatively independent media that they are trying to, to um, I would say trying to test or not or trying to 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 stab the red eye. Yeah. For example, some news about about the foreign Hong Kong Hong Kong residents uh, assembly. For example, uh, some. Um, uh, 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 criticism against the government officers or the or the the top management, they will try. Okay, and sometimes you can say that oh, after after this this report uh, 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 com- uh, uh, coming to to the public, that we, you can still see that they they are still saved. They there no more no no arrest against uh, 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 onto them. So, but honestly, you you cannot easy to get a norms or a set of criteria that uh, uh, what is safety and what is not safety, okay? So everyone is 
is just trying to do what they what they do and try and and what they can uh, 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 what the risk that they can they can accept. Yeah, that goes to mm. the next question back into the room. Tipi, hi, from Finland. Hi, awesome. Thanks for being here. Mm. Um, being a journalist is not the easiest or the safest job in Hong Kong, and I was wondering about the journalism students. Are there still people who want to become journalists, and do they know what they're getting into? So did you understand? Did you hear that question? It's about yes, very clearly this time. Great. Um, first of all, in the most of the Hong Kong journalists, um, journalism school, there are a PR stream <laughs> instead of only a news stream. Okay, for my alma mater, okay, the Suyuan University, as I have learned, as I've learned that most of uh, the students, journalism students, are willing to study in PR stream, um, and of course, that in, in in some some other schools, some other journalism schools, there are still some stream mainly covered the uh, for covering the financial news. Okay, and um, but the the but the answer is simple that you 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 can see after studying journalism and. You and after your graduation, you become a journalist. You will have to face two kind of the uh, 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 um, field. To, uh, your future have two ways. Once, if, if you're working in the mainstream media, you will you will save because um, you will not you you have no no more chance to cut to 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 try anything that will bring any dangerous. Um, you you may call it is self censorship, okay, but you you it, it will guarantee your safety, and if you're not saying that no, I I I want to to have a free freedom of reporting, so you're trying to work in a relatively independent uh, media, and then you will have risk to touch the red line, and you will have risk to to um to be charged or getting arrest, then, uh. You, you can imagine there's less and less of uh, 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 youngsters are willing to select journalism or to enter journalism school. Uh, this is what I'm also very concerned and very about because um, the the journalist journalist um, uh, school and journalists um, the press have need um, many. Uh, high quality graduates to continue our work in 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 in, journal, in journalist industry in journalism industry um in in the past in in the in the good old days that we can still have so many um uh, a good academic results students that they will select journalism school and they after their graduation they're ready to become a journalist but i can we, we can foresee that lesser and lesser um, teenager and the youngsters are willing to, to select it. And thank you. I mean, this is this is the absolute kind of future of this. I'm going to go back into the room to Louis, who is from Brazil, who is kind of okay. also Hello, facing. Louis. Thank you. I see. Hi, uh, thank you also for your time, for having us. Uh, uh, Louis, hello. Uh, when Maria Ressa won the Nobel Peace Prize, she not only defended truth and democracy, but she also questioned us, what are we willing to sacrifice in order of, to get democracy and truth? But to me, Hong Kong journalists have already sacrificed too much. Uh, mm. How do you keep doing journalism despite everything that you face uh, against your profession in Hong Kong? Did you hear that question? It's not, been... not very clearly. I, I, but I, I get the, the, the get main the point of sacrifice. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, yeah, so... Maria Ressa talked mm. when she won the Nobel Peace Prize this year. She defended truth and democracy and also asked the audience listening around the world, what are you willing to sacrifice to protect democracy? Mm. And Louis is saying it seems that Hong Kong journalists like yourself and many others in your newsroom have sacrificed too much already. Mm. So how do you keep going? 
Um, it is not an easy question. Um, for practically, I I'm a journalism school graduate. I I love to be a journalist when I study in secondary school, and after my graduation, I I becoming I became a journalist for around seventeen years. Honestly, I don't know how I I, I have no choice of other jobs that uh, instead of a journalist, I don't have any any other choice. Honestly, um, but and also it it it's is is about how. How we feel about the journalists, about journalists in Hong Kong. Um, it, the, the, the answer is simple. For me, my ex colleagues in in, in Stan News, including two editors in chiefs, they still remain and in the in the prison. And I I visit them um, for tr uh, twice in a month. When after you have to visit them, you, you know that maybe the situation is not easy for yourself. You may understand you, you have many things, you have still have dangers or sometimes you may have to sacrifice something, but you, you have to work for them. You know, that they have paid. They have paid for their, their sacrifice, uh, for their freedom. And you think that you should have to still go on trying to to do something for them to to continuing what the Hong Kong journalists have done for for the past century. Hong Kong have a last Hong Kong have a long history on freedom of press and freedom of speech, even in the. In, in the last century, the, the, the Qing dynasty has not been end. Hong Kong as a British um, colon, colony, that it is accidentally that we have enjoyed a freedom of speech and freedom of press in, for a, around more than 100 years. In the 1940s centuries, that the CCP and KMT, that the Chinese Communist Party and the Kuomintang, they have their own media organization in Hong Kong and trying to win, to win the, the, the support from the Hong Kong people by, 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 their, by their, their own uh, media. So we, we, never, we never experienced that um, we, we should not report someone's speech, we should not report someone and we should not interview any anyone because of his own identity. Okay, and we can we can interview everyone. We can wrote everything, um, and the the political background media just trying to get the support from the Hong Kong people or support from the from the uh, the, the the whole Chinese world by their own newspaper or media. Um, but today that you will be told that somebody should not be interviewed, somebody's speech that you should not be covered because he, he or she is the criminal, regarded by the, by the, by the, by the, regarding by the, by the, by the uh, 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 um, uh, uh, accusation from Beijing, you, you know what I mean. I hope that I'm sorry today. My my English is so poor. I hope that you guys understand what what what, what I mean. Yes. So um, you have a role. You have a, You have to work for the people. Have to sacrifice. Um, and also the, the the other point is, um, we love Hong Kong. We can just say. Uh, we have enjoyed the freedom when, when we were small. We have experienced, we have watched what Hong Kong has been in the, past, in the past good old days. So it is not, not good for me that, okay, uh, well, maybe the cost too high that I go away and I'm, I'm never being a journalist anymore. I, I don't think so. This, that's me. So I'm trying 
to think any other ways that we can do. Um, maybe we have today we we, we sacrifice that we, we we withdraw from the political news, withdraw from the police news, uh, but we are still concentrate concentrate on the city's news, on the uh, 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 sports news. Okay, sports news will be useful also because there's still some some national policies, sport policies that government have to be improved, that we still have our role to speak out. That's, I think, Ronson, that's a beautiful answer to end. It just sounds like the, the clearest answer, we keep going because we don't know what else to do, which I think mm. is so <laughs> true of so many journalists all around the world. Uh, literally, sometimes there are no other career options, but often, very often, far more frequently, <laughs> we, um, we kind of want to carry on telling stories, we want to carry on reporting and don't really know how to stop. So we'll keep finding ways. Not actually, mo some of my good old friends and in the media, they will try to to another path in the, in the PR, PR, PR industry. But um, for me, I'm not easy to change. I would just say. I think, well, please don't change. Um, thank you so much for your time. It's been late. Mm. I know. Um, we've yeah, learned okay, so no. much. And we, we will hear more from you and all the best to you and the, the colleagues now as well. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, so many people in the conference room. And, and before you all go, like I said, this is my last seminar. So I'm going to hand oh. over to Caitlin, my last yeah. ever seminar at the Institute. But I also want to say thank you to Caitlin, who's very conveniently standing up, who has been the kind of producer brains behind this entire seminar series for this last year as well. And everything mm. that you've seen has been through her energy. So thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Aaron. And just in, on, along the lines of expressing gratitude, um, we want to uh, not only express our gratitude to Ronson and, and the Hong Kong journalists who, who continue to do this work, but to you, Mira, um, for introducing this format, um, the Global Journalism Seminars that brings together journalists from around the world to learn from each other and be inspired. And thank you for not only in this format, but throughout the fellowship, holding journalists up when they are down. Um, it's an inspiring thing that you do, and we will, we are committed to continuing this legacy, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mira. That's good to see you, Dimitri. Thank you very much.